Right, let's turn it back to weather. If you think it's hot this weekend, well, ho, 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 just the beginning. Yes. Robert has the story you may not want to hear. This is the appetizer. There we go. And the main course is on the way with the heat. Hottest weather in several years. Unfortunately, folks, uh, we're all going to look like this. Our little guy back there as we get into our uh, headlines here is what we can expect this week. Uh, it's going to be a hot Independence Day, uh, but it, <laughs> actually Monday will be the coolest day of the week, but it'll still be blisteringly hot. Uh, outside with high heat and humidity. Then the dangerous stuff arrives uh, starting on Tuesday and we'll see heat indices 110 or higher and very little wind, uh, which will just make it feel so stagnant outside. A heat advisory has already been slapped up by the Weather Service for most of the area for tomorrow, except for Northwest Arkansas as of now. That could change. They could upgrade that, but we'll have to see. So if you are headed out, uh, for 4th of July plans after I show you how much further the heat advisory goes up into the central plains. If you are going out for the 4th of July, here are those tips. We've talked about them before. Don't leave your pets in a car. Drink lots of water, water, not alcohol. Alcohol is a dehydrant. So is coffee. Uh, keep that in mind as well. Reduce your strenuous activities. Stay in the AC as much as possible. And I, I really beat the drum on this a lot, but light, loose fitting clothing, no earth tones, none of that skin tight stuff that holds that heat closer to your body. You want that heat to be able to radiate off of you uh, to keep yourself uh, relatively safe if you have to be outside. Still dealing with a, a thin line of showers and storms in northern Benton County, making their way toward Pea Ridge and Garfield right now. Another weak shower here, uh, pretty much over XNA. That's about it. And it's a hot one across northwest Arkansas. We're in the uh, lower 90s where it isn't raining, uh, flirting with the century mark in many locations in the River Valley. As we take you hour by hour, again, a couple of spotty showers. Once the sun sets, that will all go away. We'll uh, rewind the tape and do it all over again on Monday. As we warm up into the 90s, we could see a couple of afternoon uh, showers and a, a weak thunderstorm. I think more to the east tomorrow than right over our area. But by the evening hours, if you're heading to your favorite uh, fireworks celebration, we shouldn't have any problems. And then waking up Tuesday morning to head back to work, 70s and 80s. Still keeping our eye on Tropical Storm Bonnie. Winds now up to 70 miles an hour. Large area of convection uh, here right around the center of circulation. And it is expected to strengthen maybe as high as a Category 2 storm as it slides into the eastern Pacific off the western Mexican coast. There's a look at those lows tonight. A very muggy, not a good sleepy night with those temperatures in the 70s and right back into the oven tomorrow, flirting with 100 degrees. And we should hit 100 for our heat index throughout the day tomorrow by 5 o'clock in the evening. It's going to feel downright oppressive. And it stays that way as we go into the upcoming week. Triple digit heat possible across northwest Arkansas. Yeah, first time in a, in a couple of years that has happened. And then we <laughs> we quote unquote cool down by Friday, just a high of 99. I was thinking about this. You see, Tuesday, when I first saw 101, I thought of LOL, which the uh, temperature is definitely no laughing matter as we get into the rest of the week in the River Valley. That is just dangerous and ridiculous heat, folks. Please, please keep yourself safe. We're going to check the world of sports after we check these commercial messages.